I'm looking at my plants and I see holes. Aphids are not gonna do this. So I kept looking and looking and I just lost it. There was a tiny little worm here feeding. Here it is, right there. It dropped to the ground to protect itself. You see it? It dropped to the ground to protect itself. Which makes me think of another important point. When you want to spray for insecticide, the shaking of the plant while you're spraying, many of the worms will drop to the ground for protection. So when you spray, spray up, down, spray the soil all around the plant in the garden, because this way if they drop, hopefully you will get them instead of thinking that they are here only in that foliage. Okay, so spray well, spray till the drip stage, meaning the excess drips to the ground, not a quick whiff, you're not spraying Roundup that a quick pass is systemic and it kill the whole plant. You are spraying something contact and you really want to spray every nook and cranny uh, to hopefully reach uh, tar target pest. Uh, with time, you will learn that when you have holes like this, it's a worm, not a beetle, not a uh, aphid. With time, you will learn that and uh, help you identify. Even if you don't know the name of the insect, you know I have a worm, let me spray BT. BT is excellent and the best choice in an aquaponic operation because BT is safe for the fish. Don't spray anything unless you are guaranteed it's safe for the fish. BT is safe. You have worms, BT is safe, BT is your best option. I have sprayed insecticidal soap, you know, oil and, oil and uh, liquid soap. That also seems to be safe for the fish. Okay, now I have here a media bed that is also safer for the fish because if I spray something that may be toxic to the fish it's gonna stick here first and maybe take two or a week before it reaches the fish by then it's broken down okay by whatever is in here or that gonna trap it here for a long time if you have deep water culture aquaponic where you're spraying directly on the water or some of it will reach the water that's recirculating going back to the fish, you are at much higher risk than me. Uh, if I spray something that is uh, not safe or we don't know if it's safe for the fish or not, I'm willing to take the risk here in this situation because I have this buffer uh, compared to a deep water culture operation. Okay?